let's quickly go through what we are going to build in this lab. Like before, we are going to integrate uh, AWS Elastic Beanstalk with the Azure Dew Observer. So what we are going to do is to build an ASP.NET web application written in Visual Studio Code. Uh, we are going to uh, build it and then publish into Azure repository. And once you publish into Azure repository, it's going to kickstart an Azure pipeline, which will execute the build process in a build agent. And this build agent, as part of this build execution, is going to create a deployment package, a .NET Core web application deployment package that will create that package and then publish into uh, an S3 bucket. And after it publishes that artifact into S3 bucket, it's going to invoke Elastic Beanstalk API and then say, hey, Elastic Beanstalk, I have this new uh, application, take it from there and then create a new deployment. So that will orchestrate this IIS or ASP.NET web application on Elastic Beanstalk. So let's go there and then explore the lab environment. Uh, before we start this pipeline. I'm in my development machine. Let's first try to understand the application that we are going to build in this lab session. So if you go into your C drive, like before in the development folder, you have an application under my Tiger app. And it's a very simple ASP.NET Core web application. Let's try to open this folder using Visual Studio Code. Copy the file path, go to Visual Studio Code, open the folder, and the folder that you are going to open is under C Do My Tiger application. So this is what you are going to open. As you can see, it's a very simple ASP.NET uh, Core web application. Uh, what we are going to do is uh, explore these files a bit and then uh, run the debug and then run this application locally first. So uh, under Elastic Beanstalk, uh, there are a couple of files available for you. Uh, one is called Advanced Deployment. We will use that file later. And another one is called AWS Windows Deployment Manifest. So this manifest tells Elastic Beanstalk uh, what kind of web application this one is and to which location that it should deploy. So in this case, it's going to deploy to the root location of IIS website. Other than that, uh, you can explore the files. Uh, you have like before a WW root folder, you have views, um, and there's a file called index.cshtml uh, that showcase you the uh, first starting uh, page. So as of now, uh, you may not have all the Nougat packages and that's why you get these uh, red signs. So let's first build this uh, SP.NET Core Web application uh, so that uh, we can run it locally. To do that, let's uh, debug the application. Go to debug and start debugging. This will uh, restore all the dependencies and then it will start uh, compiling the ASP.NET Core web application and then start it locally. So the build is successful. It's now going to start the web application. And as you can see, it's a very simple application that says welcome version one. This is a simple .NET Core MVC application. Uh, if you go into test, uh, there's a test page and every time when you refresh it, it uh, type the uh, date and time. So this is the application that we are going to build. Uh, stop the debugging, click stop button. And if you go to the file explorer, um, all the objects are in good shape. So let's first try to uh, publish this one to our source control system. If I open command line and then go to the uh, C do my tie gap where I have this project and then type JIT config get remote origin URL. You can find that this location I have already added to Azure Dew Observer JIT repository. 
And this is uh, the Azure DevOps uh, web application, uh, Azure DevOps server project that I have configured with this uh, location. If I go into Azure DevOps server and then select my Tiger application, you can find that uh, I have this repository already configured with the project file and it is linked to my uh, local folder. So let's make some modification and then commit the content. So go to your Visual Studio code. Under views, the page that we are going to modify is uh, under home directory. There's a one called index.chtml. And instead of uh, welcome version one, let's call it uh, welcome version uh, 2.0. Click save. Uh, so you can find the changes here. Let's click it. Uh, change the message to uh, version two, save the file, click push, and this will commit the changes into the uh, repository. So if you go into uh, your Azure DevOps server, my Tiger application, repositories, files, and if you go into the views, in the home, index.html, you can find that the version 2.2 has been reflected. Like before, in our previous labs, what we are going to focus is on the pipelines. So if you go into the pipelines, you can find that there's already a pipeline called my MyTigap sample being defined. Uh, if, or alternatively, if you go into this folder, you can find that my MyTigap uh, sample pipeline is defined. So what we are going to do is to study this pipeline in the next uh, lab session and then see uh, how we can use this pipeline to deploy this application to Elastic Beanstalk.